This is a video unboxing of the Chanter X mic from Gaming Freak. Since staying at home, I have been trying to be productive by making online contents. However, I found some limitations with my current setup and I wanted to find a way where I could make better contents and at the same time add some good audio on each one. So I decided to purchase a microphone. Being new to these, I'm not sure if I will be producing more contents in the future or after the movement control order has been lifted. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money by buying the best microphone I could buy out there. I just wanted something decent and at the same time something that would look nice. There are a few that I was eyeing from like Blue, Audio Technica and some other brands. However, for me, the price is beyond my budget. I would like to note that this video is not sponsored and is a personal purchase, though it would be awesome if ever Gaming Freak decides to provide items for me to review in this channel. The Chanter X microphone from Gaming Freak. This has four recording patterns. It's, uh, it has cardioid, stereo, bidirectional, omnidirectional, and also it's a 16 bit, bit 48 kilohertz recording and like I mentioned it has four recording mode patterns so in terms of features as you can see here it's a pro audio broadcasting desktop microphone it's using USB and it's used for uh, podcast streaming recording audio editing and it's also lab tested for stage and studio quality performance. Okay, that's something that we need to test later on. Crisp vocal pickup, high precision audio clarity, convenient mic mute button, and polar pattern selectable. It even has an ambient emotion light effect. And an off option, that's good. Alright, so this is behind. So far, a1 Plus, the seller has done a good job in terms of packing the product. And here are the technical specs. You can go through it if you want. Just pause the video. What's in the box? So, we're expecting to see a microphone, of course, a spider stand, the USB cable, and the user manual. Okay. So, here are the buttons together with the port, 3.5 millimeter port. And here, as you can see, polar pattern selector, and also at the bottom, you can see the Type C connector, and then the ambient uh, ambient LED switch. And then on the last side, you can see here again the polar patterns. Okay. All right, so let's open up the box. So packaging wise it's very nice. You can see here also what the box is about. Oh wow. Nice styrofoam. Very nice. It really protects the microphone. So here's the manual. Alright, so this is how you put in or connect the uh, spider stand to the microphone. Okay, this is how you tilt it. And this goes to the USB of the CPU, okay, very straightforward. And then here also you have an audio pass-through. Okay, some other volume, you've got it there as well. Okay, or the click is for mute, okay. Alright. 
and it even shows an example on how the different polar patterns are utilized. Okay, so you've got here carnioid, bipolar, stereo, but even as echo mode. Okay. Ah, uh, so echo mode is used for the ambient lighting. So you can switch the echo mode so that after five seconds the light goes off. It's cool. Okay. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're going to set this here. So you go through the box. Okay. Of course, first and foremost, you've got the mic. Oh, the mic is heavy. It's very heavy. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, it said 1 kg. The weight. I like the feel of the mic. It uh, seems pretty sturdy. So here we go. Okay, so it's metal. Construction is very good. Looks heavy duty. All metal. All some plastic parts. The rest is all metal. Okay, so above you've got here the mode. Oh, okay, it's a soft rubber. That's good. So you wouldn't be able to, when you press the button to change the polar pattern, you wouldn't uh, accidentally hear it through the mic. Okay, and then on the bottom you've got the spider connector or connection then USB type C and you've got here your ambient LED light okay as you can see here model GF Chanter X okay in front you've got your gain slash mute button okay then you've got here your volume Okay. Yep, I don't hear anything when I shake it, so it's really solidly built. And this is the spider stand. Wow, spider stand is really solid metal as well. Okay. Yep, and rubberized feet. And here's the screw to connect the spider stand and the microphone. USB type C cable. Okay, so this one we'll put away. So we're not gonna be using this box. I really like how the packaging is. See how thick the padding is for the mic. So I assume, or I hope, that it's not just for show. Hopefully, it would be able to deliver in terms of quality. So, guys, this is the unboxing. Now, let's go ahead and connect the microphone with the spider stand. So as you can see, there's a small indentation here that should match the one in the spider stand. Okay, it's cool. All right. Huh. Actually, it's very nice. It is. It looks nice. It is very sturdy. 
very heavy. Okay, so here you can see a hole that goes to the USB Type C cable. Okay. All right. And it should be like this. Very, very nice. Okay. Now for the USB Type-C cable, it should go through here. Ah, and then that's it. It's connected. So now you can just plug this into your PC or Mac and there you go. So that's it for the unboxing video of the Chanter X microphone from Gaming Freak. I will come up with a couple more videos for the initial impression and detailed review so please click on the like and subscribe button. Don't forget also to hit the bell button to receive notifications on new videos.